And welcome to another episode of Hey Man, I'm Josh. I am Jacob. Hey man. Hey man. You know, it just dawned on me that both this hat, like I can wear either the hat or the glasses. Not both. Because they're both too big for my... The glasses, because you have, so let me guess what you're doing right now. You're wearing the glasses fully, but you're wearing the hat a little higher up on your head because if you push it down, it like, it hits the glasses. I'm going to tell you something unfortunate. It's pushed all the way down on my head. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I look like a conductor. Like, <laughs> all aboard the Polar Express. Yo, when I, this combo of hat glasses really makes me look like I probably am on my way to my make a wish. Do you know what I mean? Like, a, well, I look like, like a sick are, are, kid. Are you the make a wish or you're making a wish? No, no, I'm, I'm the, I'm making the wish. Oh, oh, like, oh, I, look God, my, God. I look like a sick, look this, ah, damn it, I didn't look in the mirror, but. Never look in the mirror. See, ladies and gentlemen, he always he, like I sometimes I'll see people leave the house when we're on the road, right or in the hotel, and I'm like, I'm like, this is what we did, and he goes, and you always say to me, you go, yeah, you know, look, people just leave the house before looking in a mirror, and I'm like, that's why there should be mirrors at every doorway at that at that hotel. There was a mirror on the back of that door. Okay, how do you? Listen, I, I don't on, get how not second. you're not looking at yourself before you walk out the door. When you say at that hotel, you're gonna have to be more specific for me. Connecticut, I'm very sure. Thank you, you so much. Son? Remember there was a there was a there was a mirror on the like the inside of the door. Why did I leave without looking in the mirror? You just said you left without looking in the mirror. I leave every room without looking in the mirror. No, that's what I'm saying. Dude, I, I had I, the I, biggest. I should, I'm advocating for everyone should have a oh. mirror by their front door so you can see your ass before you leave the house. I had the biggest bug in my nose yesterday in Whole Foods. I stopped and chatted with a bunch of people. Nobody said anything. Not. A fucking one. This is why I'm. I looked in the in the rear view when I was backing out, and I was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> like right here, dude. A fucking diggly doogly. And diggly no, doogly. Nobody was like, "Hey, dude." The cat. And I was wondering, this cashier and I usually have great conversations. She was like, "No eye contact." She wasn't making eye contact with me. Do you? Oh, she, that that was her hint to you. That wasn't a hint, dude. That's that was. Hint. It was not a hint. It was just, I don't want to look at this dude's booger is what it was. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like maybe you should have thought, I wonder why she's not looking at me. Maybe well, I, I have know. something in my teeth. I, maybe I got a bug in the cave. I don't know why. I don't know her well enough to know why she's not making eye contact. <laughs> but she, I definitely, look, she could have at least been like, hey. And I'd have been like, I don't do coke. What? And she'd have been like, no, no, you got a booger. Yeah. I mean, like, I understand that. Like. I don't know. We've I, talked about this We've before. talked about this on the podcast, and I told you, I'm not telling a stranger if they have a bug in their nose. And you said you would. I I definitely would one of those, dude. It was not like, oh, I think he's got something. It, it was, was like, oh, part of his brain is hanging out of his nose. Oh, it was a big one. Oh, dude. When I looked in the rear view, I just started laughing. I'm like, is this... I was in the fucking produce section. Dude, if I was in the produce section. Oh, no. Was there, did you notice nobody around you at the produce section? I, I didn't notice nobody around me. But if I had seen somebody with a little bug, I'd have told them because what if it fell out in the produce? Yeah, but that's just you thinking about everybody at that point in time. When people see a dude with a bug in his nose, they're only thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about you. But you know like what every person did after they had a conversation with you? They checked their nose. Yes. 100%. Every person walked away and went. And. Without a doubt, because there was I, there was these two people that I thought, ah, oh, this one dude that recognized me it was so embarrassing. He recognized you? Oh, he walked up. He goes, hey, Josh Wolf? I go, yeah. And he, I turned, and he was like, hey, oh, hey. Yeah, yeah. And then he, I was like, I thought he was nervous because <sighs> I, I was like, he must be like, dude, every time I look up there, I'm like, look at this conductor. <laughs> it's such a terrible look. Oh, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad, but I got the sweet ass bird milk. Uh, no, but dude, not, no, wait, wait, not bird milk. No, a uh, uh, bird brain. Sorry, bird, oh, bird milk. That's crazy. That was a company that your mom and I. Bird milk is your company. Yeah, or was uh, this was or bird is? was was a long time ago. Uh, bird this is bird brain though. Yeah, this is they dope as shit. Fire. Um. Anyways, book in the nose. Let's get past it. But that is a a lesson, my young friend. Tell people. Just let them know. Or. Look in the mirror before you leave the house. Yeah, but dude, or you were in the car before you went in. If you look, I usually look in the rearview mirror before I walk you in somewhere. Do? Always, 
always for that specific reason. One, I don't want to look stupid. Two, I don't trust mankind enough to know, to let me know that I got a bug in my nose in public. I guess I just, even if I looked in the mirror before I left the house, I guess I just didn't assume, I wouldn't assume, oh, I should look again because a bug has dropped. Always. I, I, I always look in the rear view mirror before I leave that car. I'm going to have to start. I'm not, I don't, I don't, and this is whatever guys, I'm, I'm at a certain age where I don't think about how I look in front of people. No, no, hundred percent. And to you, that's kind of funny. We'll get back in the car and going, Oh, what the Dude, hell? Super funny. Yeah. 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 I, I, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I preferred that to keep looking in the mirror and not seeing a book because then I'm like, Oh, this is funny. Yeah, you know there I mean? was a reason for everything, all the interactions that, that you had. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 I love that shit. But I'm show. not going to lie. If I walked up to somebody and I was like, hey, nice to meet you, like I'm a big fan, I would tell them they had a bug. If J. Cole had a bug in his nose. 100%. 100%. Wouldn't you feel good if about I, that? If I went up and was like, hey, man, nice to meet you. I mean, hey, man, cool to meet you. And I'd be like, hey, man, I, I love your work, but before we get into it, I'm sorry. I just want to let you know as like a, a person, you got one in the right nostril. And that's all I would do. But if for him, I would have done this. Dude, he, and you know what he would do? He would dap you up. He'd that, be like, thank that's you. That's what I'm saying. That's why, why wouldn't this dude tell me? Because no, he, I, I wondered why, I, that is, I think, a, a mistake in that one. Because if I was him, I would have been like, hey, big fan. Also, not a big fan of the booger in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> You should check it out. It's it's a, a star in your right nostril. <laughs> it's, well, yeah, but but yeah, yeah, like. So listen, everybody. I think scenario wise, yeah, yeah, for sure. If you see me out there, feel free to tell me. Boog in the nose, big, you know, whatever, something on my cheek. Or if you want to fuck with them, feel free not to tell them. That works too. That also is a possibility. <laughs> but if you're not gonna tell me, ask for a picture, and then post it as a joke. Took yeah. a picture with Josh Wolf. Boog in the nose. Boog, hashtag boog in the nose. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait for the day for media with the hashtag boog in the nose. Hashtag boog in the nose. We'll start it. Um, we'll start looking for photos that you and I have to see if you have a boog in the nose and just post it. I, listen, do you remember that fucking picture where I posted and I didn't know my dick was out? Wait. You, oh, you mean the one that mom took a video while you were peeing? She took a picture when I was so... We were in a hotel. Yeah. And she took a picture when I was peeing. And I glanced at it and I was like, yeah, I think we're good. But I didn't zoom in. Yeah, you got to zoom in. Yeah, total dick was out. Yeah, yeah, total dick was out. Do you remember that time you took a picture with that uh, dad and his kid and your dick was accidentally out? It wasn't out. And it wasn't a kid, guys. Hey, everybody, not yeah, a kid. Yeah, yeah, he, he, was, he was a grown, like, 22-year-old person. Oh, oh, I thought he was like an 18-year-old. No, he was a grown oh. a human. Never mind then. Yeah, d let's clarify. And, and my I, dick wasn't out. Uh, it's just in the picture. It My dick it in the as, pants it, looked bigger, way bigger it than it well is. might as well have been out. No, not even <laughs> close. I had pants on, zipped up. Oh, it, you had pants on, right. But it they just looked, looked like, looked, like see-through pants. No, you couldn't see the dick. You could just see what looked like the outline. I mean, it was of so, a large it was so penis. ridiculous that it looked like ridiculous. you ridiculous. It looked like for a joke you would stuff the cucumber in your pants. Like that Listen, it was well, you, hilarious. You're, you're gonna have to start being more careful with how you paint me. I was around a guy with his kid and his my dick was out. It's not yeah, a good yeah, way oh, to really uh, yeah, say that. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. But I mean, like, I, I didn't mean it in a... In a in Doesn't a, matter how you meant it. <laughs> Nobody else knows way. that when they're listening. That's fair. But, like, I think everyone could assume that it wasn't Why anything. would you assume anything besides you said you were around a guy with his kid and your dick was out? Oh, I'd be... <sighs> how else are you going to take that? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a good point. I mean, it's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah. Your dick wasn't out. No, it wasn't out at all. It was fully pants. <laughs> fully pants? Yeah, it was a pants <laughs> penis. It just happened to look way bigger than it is in that picture. Yeah, that was... As a, far as anyone he else He made knows. you sign it. Yeah, that was super funny. Yeah. Um, guys, hey, listen. Real quick, Jacob and I will be in Phoenix this weekend, the 29th and 31st, New Year's Eve. We have one show Friday, two Saturday, two Sunday. I can't decide if I'm doing the mushroom show Friday night early or Saturday night late. Wait, only one show Friday, but okay, we're, that's we're, what I was going to ask. Okay. So I'm either doing the dance off on Friday or Saturday late. And I'm either doing the mushrooms Friday or Saturday late. So I can't decide. I can't decide. Wait, 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 the, wait hold, there on, will be, hold on. You confused me with that. You're either doing dance off Friday, mushroom Saturday. I'm doing mushrooms and dance off, right? Oh, on the same night? No. Oh, no, on different nights. Okay. Yeah. And so one's either going Friday 
and one's going Saturday late. I just haven't decided which one. Okay. Uh, I feel for the fact of mushrooms on an earlier time note seems like a way better idea than Saturday late. You hated doing mushrooms with me last time. Well, yeah, it's because you didn't take any edibles. This dude's energy was off the fucking charts. Oh, my God. He was walking around through the lobby like, all right, we got to keep everybody on their toes. Blah! Oh, he I was, was like, just scared. He was trying people. to scare us. And then like I would laugh. And then he would he would get up and walk through a couple of things and go, ooh, <laughs> and, like walk in circles. This dude's energy was nuts. Super nuts. You were you give me like my, my buddy named McKay. You give me big McKay vibes on mushrooms. Yeah, man. Because he did that with people on the strip. The first time we came, like when we drove you guys here from Nashville. And we went to the strip and we did mushrooms. Every person who was like handing out cards or like limo rides or whatever, he would stop and sit and talk to each one of them for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And I was like, okay, we, stop talking to people. We're not, stranger danger. We're walking away from these dudes. Like, and it, granted, we did talk to some very interesting people. Yeah, man. But Why also not? at the same time, you guys give me the anxiety out there. Yeah, you don't like being out in public. I don't mind doing a little public mushrooms. I have really started to enjoy my solitude mushrooms at home. Listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. When I was on the road by myself taking mushrooms, I solved more problems with myself. What I would do is when I, I would take them, but I would take them right after the show. Right. And so they wouldn't hit me till after the meet and greet on the way back to the hotel. I would start to get high. I would get under the covers, close my eyes and try to solve problems. Mushrooms are so much different with your eyes closed than with your eyes open. Interesting. Have you never... I don't really close my eyes on mushrooms. Dude, or on any psychedelics. Because I like to see all the things that are happening. In front of mushrooms, me. eyes closed, eyes open. Two different experiences. Okay. Two different experiences. And I would go under the covers. Um, I went on Bunny's podcast. And we called they called them tent sessions. <laughs> um, but I would go under the podcast. I would go under the, the, uh, covers. the covers. Close my eyes. But I would go under the covers with intent. With intention to... This is what I want to solve about myself. I don't like this about myself. I don't. Do you know what something I solved underneath underneath those covers that had been taken a long time for me to solve? I feel like you told me this once. Well, there's so many, but 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 two huge things is I remember it came out from under the covers, and I said out loud, "To I forgive you, and I hope you all can forgive me." And what I meant was, I had been just holding on to these made up grudges and 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 you know by the way grudges guys they only affect you that other person doesn't fucking care or know or do you know what i mean like right. they're living their fucking life and they're living rent free in your head they are taking up energy why and here's another thing when you say i forgive you you're not saying that for them and they don't ever need to know that you forgive them it's for you right it's for you to stop wasting your energy on some on on things that it, it'll never make your life better. And so I re, I said out loud, I forgive. I, I went through all this stuff, and I just was just like, I forgive you. And I said that I hope you can for, for whoever holds grudges against me or 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 has some I I wrong you thought I wronged you or any of that stuff. I hope you can forgive me. And dude, it was a mo it was a monumental change in my life. Monumental. Um. Anyways, let's get to this. It's the difference between you and me. You go under the problem. You go. You go. You do drugs. Go under the covers and solve problems. I do drugs and go under the problem. Uh, go under the covers and cry. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 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 And there's a difference between two generations doing drugs. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I've done them for a little longer than you have. Well, yeah. I mean, but I'm no rookie over here. Yeah, that's true. Um. All right. Phoenix, 29th and 31st. Um, come check it out. So there's a, there will be a, a, a dance-off. There will be a mushroom show. I think I'm going to give a guitar away on more than one show. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. It's festive. I think I'm going to give a couple guitars away. Well, uh, I am. Uh, yeah, and just so you, so you guys know, every Saturday late show, I give away a guitar because I buy the guitar in the city that we're in. And uh, when I'm done with it over the weekend, I sign it and give it away. I I am somebody who um, I feel it's important to give back to the people that support us, um, and that's why we do free meet and greets and all that shit. Nice. And so, and that's why I also 
I keep my ticket prices low, guys. I know some of you might be like, that's not low. It's relatively low compared to the my peers. Uh, um, how long I've been doing it, the level I'm at. Yeah. It's a low ticket price on purpose. And that is so because I'm I've been in a spot where I couldn't afford tickets to see the person I wanted to see. And so we keep them pretty low. I like to give back to you guys. And so Phoenix, uh, two shows with guitars, giveaways, one dance off, one mushroom show. I'll probably, not probably, I'll do one show where I'm going to run my entire special that I'm shooting in January. Nice. So it's going to be a great fucking weekend. If you're close, if you got nothing to do, even if you got something to do, five shows, Jacob and I, Beth will be there. Uh, your beautiful girlfriend will be there. Iman, yes. And so come check it out. Also, a lot of music. I get some um, surprise guests. So come through. Um, and then January, we are hitting the road hard, everybody. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. And tickets. And tickets. Let's talk podcast name real quick. Okay. And then we'll get into the stuff we want to talk about. All righty then. The two names that got the most votes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like on your page, but I can only tell you what it was like on my pages. Okay. The two names that got the most votes. Wolfpack? Yep. Wolf Den. Okay. I don't mind either of those. Mm -hmm. Wolfpack is good, and I I, I kind of like Wolf Den more, in all honesty, because we're bringing people in, and we're like, welcome to the den. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, because uh, you know, you go into the den, like a cozy den to talk and, and you know, have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or whatever and like mm -hmm. talk with everybody. Right. So I feel like, I feel like the wolf den, I like the wolf den I like more, the, I think, than the wolf pack. I like them both also. I like putting wolf in the name. I think it'll help merch and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Better merch than family. Yep. Um, I like that we disagree. I like them both too, what we agree on. Mm -hmm. I like Wolfpack um, in a more ironically dumb and funny way. Now, I think we put it to the people. Yep. We'll go. I, and we're not saying that you guys get the final say, but I'm curious. Are yep. you curious? I, I definitely am. And um, I will tell you the big factor on if we change the name is if I can figure out how to change the name on Apple, on iTunes. I oh I don't know. I went in the other day and I'm like, oh, I'll just change the name. And I was like, oh, I don't know how to do that. That's so, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll, I, we'll do some research. Yeah, I I was just like, hey, gee, I hey. So and we are going. I am going to take all the podcast clips off of my main page, guys, and we're going to start our own Wolfpack Wolf Ten. Uh, page. We're going to have it all. We're going to push it hard. We're going to, in 2024, we're going to have guests um, coming up. We, I'm, we're going to have Joey Diaz on here. Oh, for sure. Uh, Carrot Top reached out to me. We're going to have Scott on here. Love it. Um, we'll have Lunell on here. Yes. And we're going to have a lot of real fun guests, but it won't be a typical podcast where we're just asking them, you know, shoot the shit questions and It'll be based on, we'll have fun stories and, yeah. uh, you know, you know, Jakey and I, we can't stay on one topic too long, but um, the idea of the podcast is to talk about their childhood, um, their relationship with their parents, their relationship with their siblings, right. um, how that shaped them growing up and where they are now. And, and if they are parents, how their childhood and their parents and their kids yeah. have affected them right, as right. parents. Right. I think it'll just be a little different, a lot of fun, a lot of, I, you know what it combines? It combines what I, you know, what I consider to be the best type of art, which is heart and laughter. Yeah. That's really what I love. It'll be fun. So. It'll be super fun. Uh, Wolfpack, Wolf Den, we're open to the ideas and the names. Um, let's go with your news article first, and then I've got a couple things. I want to talk about your brother's wedding, which happened here on the okay. 23rd. <clears throat> Um, I want to talk about my thing that drove me fucking crazy that I, dude, outside of that goddamn mukbang, which I kept me up at night, <laughs> I found a new group of videos on YouTube that I just don't understand. Do, so, you, do you want to go first? No, 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 first? no. I want you to go first because you know that I'll never stop talking. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Well, first of all, I also want to address my toes situation. Yeah, dude. Um, okay. So for those of you who don't know, uh, 
mm, like, I don't know, seven years ago, something like that, going on eight. Uh, the day before, or 10 days before my 19th birthday, I almost lost three toes on my left foot in a uh, truck accident. Um, I still have them. They're just a little... Deformed. Fucked up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, let me paint a picture. By the so, way, one of your toes is kind of shaped like my head right now. Oh, a little bit with the headphones? Yeah, yeah with yeah, the yeah. headphones and the giant hat. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. So the big toe and the pinky toe are good. The one next to the big toe, he took the most damage. He's known as the brain. I wish I could show you. It would make a lot of sense. The one in the middle, his name is Slenderman. He lost his toenail, so he has no face. So Slenderman. The third one is Quasimodo because he's got this crazy hump on the knuckle, and I don't know why. So I've named all three toes. Hump on the knuckle was my nickname in high school. Hump on the knuckle. <laughs> sounds like it sounds like it sounds like it sounds like one of those it sounds like one of those dance songs like Cupid Shuffle. But instead of Cupid Shuffle, it's Hump on the Knuckle. You know, Josh, he's gonna hump on the knuckle. <laughs> Hump on the knuckle wolf. <laughs> I might, I might change your name in my phone to Hump on the knuckle. Yeah, Hump on the knuckle, so funny. But so they have permanent nerve damage. They're all pretty fucked up. But every now and then, you know, they 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 like swell up or they get itchy or whatever. But I woke up this morning. It kind of kept me up all night. But I woke up this morning and all three of them. I sent you that photo, right? God. All three of them are bright red and uh, swollen. Like, yeah, it hurts to walk. I can't bend my toes right now. You know, they, they, they have that, like, that pink, like, that shiny pink, like a new pig. Yeah, do you want to see it again? Like a piglet. No, nah, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Can I show everybody? I mean, you can. I, I, I think people would love to see your, your fucked up toes. I still I think... I don't know if the camera... Oh, the camera can see that. Great. So those are what they look like this morning. As you can tell, they're, 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 they're a little swollen. Um, you know, the, tips of, the tips of them are so red. Oh, yeah. You know, if anybody funny, is, actually when I when I zoom in on this one, yeah. like it's still skinny at the bottom, and then like it, it's like a V all the way up because it just kind of expands as it gets bigger. Shaped like Michael Phelps. <laughs> kind um, of. If there are any podiatrists out there, and you have an idea of why, it's got to it has to do with like the circulation. But why? Why is it just random? Well, it's maybe been cold for. Uh, I don't know. And also, they're not cold. If they were cold, they would be turning like purple blue. In all blue. three of them, it all it happens all three at of them at the same time. Correct. It's never just one at once. It's all three at the same time. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's, yeah. And by the way, those are, uh, I still think you should start a, to a Tonely fans. Well, I just gave it away for free, so. You're, I mean, you, you, I don't know why. Please tell me why <laughs> you won't me. let us do a, an OnlyFans for your toes. Once and for all, Please tell me why it, it'll be you. You are looking to make money. I just you want, are looking to be funny. I don't want people touching my toes. Nobody's touching your toes except for Iman. Yeah, that's still somebody touching my toes. Well, then you can touch them. I, I, I don't know. I just there's just I don't know. I, I, I haven't found the right push for it yet. Not Fine. push for it. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna do it. For I'm gonna your do feet? it. I'll do Tony fans. And when I start making money, I'll congratulate you. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm gonna rub it in your face. I'll do the Tony fans. He's been saying he was gonna do it for a long time. I have not been it. saying I'm you, gonna do you it. You said you were gonna do it once or twice before, I think already. I, I think that prove I, it. Prove what? Prove it. That, prove, that, prove that I haven't said it? No, no, no. Prove that you can do it and make money with it. I'm gonna. I just but, have to I have to ask your mom if she's okay with decorating my toes. Because I, I don't have the artist. That's not where I'm artistic Neither of at us all. have artistic ability in that. Yeah. Not at all. So, yeah, no. So I also don't think Iman would do it because she hates feet. She'd do it if you made a fucking grip of money. That's probably true. Yeah. If I make money, are you going to be like, I'm going to do that too? No, I'll just congratulate you. Fuck yeah. I, well, how many pictures do you think I'd have to do a month on a Tony fans? I feel like you could do one each day of the week. That's a lot of people named Joe. I'm going to run out of people to dress up. One every other day? Nah. Well, let's, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be people named Joe. I'm pretty sure we had we had others where it was yeah, like... Yeah, Sha Shaquille. Shaquille. Toe. Toe or Shaquille Toe Heel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. See? Like, there's, there's a bunch we can do. Okay. Toe Biden. I can do a bunch. Toe Burrow. Toe Dell Beckham Jr. Yeah, yeah. We're in. Okay, okay. Good. I'm going to do it. Um, is it racist if your toes in blackface? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to say no. 
If I do like a, a blackface toe next to a white toe, is that racist? If I go blackface on my toe? I, f I don't know. I feel like you catch some fire for that. From who? F from anybody. It's the internet. Okay. Here's what I'm going to ask a couple of my friends. You know what I'm saying? From yeah. anybody. It's the internet. People have way too much time on their well, hands. I will ask a couple of my black friends and see if that feels racist. But I don't feel like it does. And I'm not going to go... <sighs> Is it? Because it's not really even like... It's just my toe. And I'm just doing jokes about Todell Beckham. I, I don't know. I feel like there's a line somewhere in there, but that I, can't be people can't be so sensitive that I can't dress no, up my toe. I agree with you. I'm just, you asked me yeah. opinion wise. So I'm just thinking that it's the internet. People have too much time mm. and, and not enough common of a sense? life or yeah. common sense to see that you're painting your toes is no way in any shape or form racist. racist yeah. But again, it's the internet. People have time for everything. I'll tell you something. If I do, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like it, if I do this, I'm really going to have to take better care of my feet than I ever have. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm going to have to cut that one long toenail that bothers your mom. You know, it'd be hilarious. Like, mine swelled up. Like, we could do, like, injured people. Like, like. I still think your your toes, we could do my toes like regular people, but your toes could be like. Zombies. Yeah. Like Walking Dead or like Circus Freaks. <laughs> carnies. Oh, but one of them is. I've already Cabbage got, Patch Kids. I've already got names for them, so we just dress them up like the the characters that they are. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to change it up though. One of them is Slender Man. One of them is Quasimodo. Yeah, but how many outfits is that? Well, no, I'm just saying for the first couple. Yeah, dude, we should just definitely dress Hump the Knuckle. Quasimodo. Yeah, it needs to be Quasimodo. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, 2024. Let me write it down. I'm not writing it down. No, you're not. But 2024. It down. We're going tone, tone. Should I call it tonely fans? Whatever you totally want to call fan? it. By the way, I'm already putting money down that he's gonna forget about it in uh, in no. probably a month. Come, true. Wait, yeah. You think I'll forget about it? Well, not forget about it because you're gonna constantly keep talking to me about it because my toes, for some reason, always come up in conversation. I just have. But, I, I just have to find somebody who feels good. I might have to hire a makeup artist who's willing to come over and dress your toes. I think so. Not even a makeup artist. Probably somebody... You, you know, need to somebody get someone who, does, who paints faces. Yeah. Somebody who does, like, um, taxidermy for small animals. Fr Freddy. Freddy Prince has been painting those small... Dude, uh, how yeah. great would it be <laughs> if I asked has, Freddy to paint my toes? He probably would. Oh, we could get high. That would maybe be, push our friendship into a different and world. And also be one of the funniest videos of all time. If we Freddy just, if painting we just set, my if, toes? If we just set up a camera in a room with you guys and he just p tried to paint your toes and oh, what you guys dude. talked about, that would be so And funny. I would have him do Toby Bryant because he's a Lakers fan. <laughs> <laughs> Toby and Shaquille Toheel. Oh <laughs> my goodness. How amazing would that be? Oh my God. Oh, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Don't you think so? But you got to get Freddie in on it first. Yeah, I will. I'll ask him. Because I, I just saw him post something about how he painted like a like a futuristic samurai. I think. And it was like the size of a grain of rice. So. I think 0% chance he does it unless it, we just. You miss 100% you miss of the shots you don't take. Oh, dude, I'm going to take the shot. Oh, I know you are. I'm going to take it. By the way, this will be the only thing that keeps him from forgetting within the month is him having to ask Freddie. But, but by the way, before I forget, uh, and I took a picture of this and I, I, I want to apologize. Huge shout out to the woman who made us that piece of art in Columbia, Missouri. Oh my God. Yeah. Yo, the, the, ski. The, the, the cross stitch. We've been moving. And so I haven't, Oh, I might have a picture of it on my phone. We've been moving. So I haven't like, uh, been able to put it up or do anything like that. Yo guys, it did make it home safely it, with us though. We made sure it did. did. Oh dude, here it is. I wonder if I, this might won't show, but can we Matt maybe get a picture somehow? Can I send it to you and we put it on, but yo, can you do that? I'm going to try and do it better than you. Um, how, what do you call it? Cross stitch? I think it's a cross stitch. Nah, you can't really see it. It is so intricate and so fucking cool. Yeah, and it's a, it's a wizard frog smoking a blunt. It, and I, I, I didn't get her name. Yeah. I, and she put a lot of fucking time and effort into it. It's yeah. awesome. It is so cool. And so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. It means so much to me that you guys take your time at your house to make something or to 
or to create something and then give it to us at the show is so fucking cool. Yeah. And, so thank you so much. And also, there, like, look, for me, there's just a couple details in there that I really love. Like, one, Magical Wizard Frog gives me big Adventure Time vibes. There was a character, there's a character in Adventure Time, his name is Bufo. Mm -hmm. And he is, because apparently a bu like Bufo is another word for a toad. Okay. I didn't know that. Me neither. Um, but his name is Bufo. He's a magical toad. And also, secondly, he's smoking a blunt, not a joint. Kudos to you. Well done. Boom, boom, yeah, boom. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, oh, yo, speaking of photos, sorry to digress. I know we're supposed yeah. to be talking about other things. Can I show you a picture that I took last night of the moon on this new phone? Yeah, dude, your new phone camera is ridiculous. Dude, it zooms in 15 times. I was at my garage yesterday, and this is the photo I took of the moon between the houses. Yo, that's crazy. No filter, no nada. Nothing. Just zoomed in all the way. It looks like a giant piece of cheese. Oh, like I'll I might send this to we'll Matt. Send too, that to but Matt like, too, yeah. But like, like, look, look, look at you can like see the craters in it. Like you can see. Pretty look crazy. At, look at that. Yeah, dude, it's it pretty is crazy. so insane. Yeah, sorry. That I just I I took that last night. No, no worries. About. Uh, let's. Why don't you tell me? You said you had a. Uh... Yo. I have an article that is really... I'm so confused. And, and can you read it? Yeah. How long is it? Uh, it's hey. not that long. It's not, I'll, read, I'll read the snippets. I clipped... A, I pulled some off mostly. That was just what I wanted to read. Well, you can read it, and then do you mind me jumping in with questions as we go? 100%. Okay, I, but okay. I will only be able to give you the answers that this is provided. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. A Russian man... I like how this starts. A Russian man... Flew on a plane from Denmark to Los Angeles in November without a passport or a ticket on the flight. But he was on the plane. He reports that he did not remember how he got through security in Europe, according to a federal complaint filed by the FBI. Uh, Sergei uh, ooh, Vladimir o Vladimir Vladimirovich? Yeah, in o my country, o I fly planes. Ochigava. He Whoa, the Ochigava was a, yeah. something I was not expecting at the end. Arrived at LAX on November 4th via Scandinavian Airlines from Copenhagen. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection officer could not find Ochigava on the flight manifest or any other incoming international flights. He was charged with being a stowaway on the aircraft and pleaded not guilty on December 5th. On December 5th. The, okay, go ahead. I have more. I don't understand. I don't understand. First of all, it was a direct flight? Direct flight from Denmark to L.A. Okay, so... He got through security without a passport or a ticket. Or a ticket. And he wasn't with anybody else? By himself. He had luggage? I, I, it looks like he maybe had a bag with him at least. This, this, is, this, this part makes me laugh. The flight crew told investigators that during the flight's departure, Ochigava was in a seat that was supposed to be unoccupied. After departure, he kept wandering around the plane, switching seats, and trying to talk to other passengers who ignored him. <laughs> Wait a second. So he got past security, and then he got into the gate. Dude, he landed in L.A. He got on the plane and landed in Los Angeles. How did, how did, because you know when you leave the plane, you got to walk a long way. Dude, how, so did, how did he get he, past I, all the flight attendants to get on the plane without scanning his ticket? That, for sure. For sure. But like, so when he got to customs, they were like, can I have your passport? And he was like, I don't have it. Yeah. And when he got to LA, they were like, where's your passport or your ticket? And he was like, I don't have either of those things. And he goes, and they were like, how did you get here? And he was like, I, I don't even know. So, 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 so did he get arrested? He got detained at the airport. Yes. And he was charged with being a stowaway. His trial actually. Wait, was, was his trial was yesterday. Was his trial was yesterday. So what happened? I don't know. I haven't gotten that. I didn't get, didn't say in the article. I didn't get that far. Okay. So, so this dude, oh, this actually, is, actually, no, I think he was charged with being a stowaway. Hold on. Hold on. A stowaway is a crime. A st like he was charged with being a stowaway on an aircraft and pleaded not guilty in a December 5th arrangement. The trial was scheduled for December 26th. A federal public defender representing Ochigava who remained in custody Tuesday did not immediately return a phone message. Stow what is this? Gilligan's Island? I guess. A stowaway is against is that's against the law? Yeah, what, oh, yeah. what what punishment comes with being a stowaway? I don't know. Dude, you're getting raped in prison if you're a stowaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Yo, have no, dude, you that have is, no protective skills. Yeah, that no is life skills at all. For sure. But also he might actually be everybody's favorite because the fact that he was able to sneak onto a plane, he might be able to sneak out of prison. I think stowaway puts a big target on your back because you're like, that dude can't protect himself. Facts. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, dude. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no fear in the stowaway. Yeah. Wow. Ready for this? Yeah. He also ate two meals during each meal service, and at one point attempted to eat the chocolate belong that belonged to the members of the cabin crew. One complaint says, "Dude, this dude could be president of the world." How did he? First of all, how did he get two meals? I've tried so many times. It's impossible to get two meals. Because you know what he did? He ate in one seat and then he went to another fucking seat. This dude might be the smartest man alive. Without a doubt. Okay. Ochigawa did not have a passport or visa to enter the United States. Customs and Borders Protection Officers searched his bag and found what, quote, appeared to be Russian identification cards and an Israeli identification card, end quote. This is this dude is fucking... Let me just say this right <laughs> now. By the way, this guy 100% knows where his passport is. You don't... This is not an accident. You're not this good at being super spy and you don't know where your fucking passport is? He, nah, here it I'm is. not buying it. Here it is. He's playing dumb. You know what he's doing? He's doing what I've done my whole life. Just play stupid, dude. Mm -hmm. The lower expectations when people think you're dumb and then you come up with a good idea, they're like, look at that dumb guy had a fucking good idea. Ochigawa, quote, gave false and misleading information about his travel to the United States, including initially telling CPB which is, I think, Copenhagen something police, that he left his passport on the airplane. That's how he got through security in Copenhagen. There's, but, but, but you're not allowed to get back on the plane. Apparently, they try, in Copenhagen, it's very lax, so they just let him back into the terminal to try and go retrieve his passport. He, that's not how it works. Like They're supposed to call. Uh, that is the worst security of all time. But this guy got, listen, and to be charming enough and believable enough, I'm, dude, this guy is super spy. Ochigawa, Ochigawa told FBI pages he has a doctorate in economics and marketing yeah, and that he had last worked in, as an economist in Russia. Ochigawa claimed he had not been sleeping for three days uh, for three days, and did not understand what was going on. He told, officials that he, he told officials that he might have had a plane ticket to come to the United States, Genius. but was not sure. He also said he did not remember how he got through security in Copenhagen. Genius. That's it. That's you know, the article. Of course he remembers, because he is a fucking super spy. This guy is the smartest man in the world. He, Dude. Like, if you can get on an international flight. Listen, Jacob Wolf, we've now flown a bunch of times and flown internationally. You had a passport and they wouldn't let you on a fucking plane. Yeah. Okay. Which is to, bullshit. To by be the way. able to get on the plane. No, fuck the plane. To get through security without a passport or oh, a ticket. A ticket. Because or a ticket. if you go up to the gate and you go, hey, I don't, I don't have a passport. If I left my passport on the plane, they'd go, cool, let me see your ticket. So I know you landed. And or, then I'll go get it for you. No, 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 no. At least if they're going to let you go, like say crazy oh, enough, he let them through. At least it would be like, what flight were you on? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Which means he researched the flight he wanted to get on. Yeah, I, 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 there, no, there's genius. so much more missing in the middle, but I'm so curious. But like, I, I figured you would really like that story. It's missing because, the, because he doesn't, he'll fill it in when he needs to. Anybody look, dude, this is a straight hustle. This is a straight, I, I guarantee you on, on his way through Hudson, he stole a magazine too. <laughs> this that's this type of dude. He's yeah. Joey Diaz. He he steals a lighter in 7-Eleven just on principle. Cocksucker. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this guy, yeah. dude. So you, so you want me to read his name one more time? I do. I think he should. Here's what I think he should do. I think he should have his own reality show. And we should just follow him around and watch him get it, you know. Fool people and get through shit. Sergey Vladomirovich Ochigava. Fuck yeah, my new hero. I want to. <laughs> what does he look like? Do you have a picture? Uh, Dude, I want a picture. Just a white t shirt with a picture of his face on it and his name right over the top. Sergey Vladikovich so, so, Makatova. Russian. Uh, Dude, man. are you Googling picture? Yeah. I mean, I have a picture in my head. What a. Me what too. A, what, a, what this Russian looks like. Probably a, a blocky giant head. Short hair. Um, I think he looks like Vladimir Klitschko. That's my guess. Or he looks like Ivan Putsky, the old Russian. Uh, was he a Russian wrestler, Ivan Putsky? Maybe Polish. You missed the whole Polish jokes, didn't you? What Polish but, jokes? Yeah. When I was a kid. The, I, the, I, they don't have photos of him. Yeah, they will. When he takes over the world. <laughs> Yo, dude, when I was a kid, Polish jokes were like so Polish people, the stereotype was that they were stupid. 
So any, you would do like, instead of substitute the blonde, how many blondes does it take? Yep. It's Polish. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and if you were calling something, somebody stupid, you would be like fucking Polak. Really? Yeah. Huh. It was back before any of us had feelings. Or <laughs> we just called each other. Or moral compasses. I, 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 no, we just, it wasn't moral because moral compass would imply that we were using it with an, a malicious intent. Yeah. Right. I told you that my, my neighbor, that his dad called me the Jew kid. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, I like the little Jew kid. <laughs> I, but I didn't take any F offense to it. Filter. I was a kid and I was a Jew. Filter and was the word I was looking for. Yeah. Not 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 moral compass. Filter was a word I was yeah, looking it for. Yeah, it was a different, it was just a different, it was just a different time. Yep. A and you know, like, like, um, here, okay. This <laughs> might get me in trouble, but here you go. Oh God. I think there should be a blend of where we are now and where we were. Because I do think that acknowledging mental health and how important it is to maintain mental health right, and not burying it and not calling people weird or anything like that is really important. And I think it's important to acknowledge it. And I've had my own issues and came from a certain generation and buried them for a long time. I'm going to tell you something right now. 2024, dude. Some things have happened over the last two weeks. I'm, it's going to be a different person. It's going to be a different person. I'm, I, I am going to maintain who I am integrity wise. And, but this is going to be a different, it's a little bit of a different person. Right. I've, some things have changed the last two weeks, but for the better, for the better. And, but that's the kind of stuff that I, you know, old school, you would have never discovered things about yourself. Right. At the same time, uh, guys, people have had trauma since the beginning of time. And you know what we did? We had trauma and we figured out a way to fucking go to work. Yep. We had trauma and we figured out a way to live our lives. We had trauma and we figured out a way not to assign ourselves the, um, victim for our whole lives. Right. That's so important, man. Yo, when something happened to you 40 years ago and it's still controlling your life, um, that's a problem. And I'm not downplaying anybody's trauma, but like it, there are ways to work through it without just saying I'm a victim. My, how I identify with myself is victim. Right. I think diagnosis is really important. Knowing what bipolar is is really important. Knowing what, you know, di diagnosing autism really important. But the difference, your generation almost wants the diagnosis. Yeah. They kind want of. to be diagnosed with something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. It's like a badge of honor. Right? And I, and they're looking for it. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. And I think that's a, I think that's a real mm, problem. I think we got to blend. We can't just be, you know, you know, my generation and older, which is like, stop being a pussy. That's not the answer. Right. But you know what else also isn't the answer? I can't get out of, I can't go to work today. I can't get out of it. I had a real traumatic. Come on. Also be a grown up. Also be a grown up. I agree with that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, look, and I, and I, I, I wish I, this is a very serious topic. So I wish I, if I had thought about, we were going to talk about this so I could have chosen my words better, more, better. Yeah. Um, um, but I really do believe the blend is important. Once you identify as a victim, that's how you see yourself for the rest of your life. Yeah. That is a dangerous, slippery slope. I, I think for me, like. I don't understand it, but I definitely have seen some days in my life where there's like, like after rock passed after Jack passed, like there are just a couple life events for me where I just needed, I needed a couple days. Yeah, but that's not, that's not what I'm talking about. You're just oh. talking about mental health wise. Yeah, dude, a hundred percent you death and, and loss and breakups, you're going to be affected. What I'm saying is 
you can't assign that as your personality for the rest of your life. It's going to fuck you up to be a victim to like, oh, this is, I act like this because I had this trauma. Oh, I act like this because I had this trauma. And every part of your personality is being assigned because of a certain trauma that you had. Right. And that word, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And by the way, uh, trauma, I believe, is a little overused. Some things just happen in your life, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some things just fucking happen. And so I, I do, yo, dude, there's just like everything else. I, the, your generation is impressive in that. I remember asking you when you were in high school, well, what's the, uh, tell me how, what it's like, like as far as for, like for gay kids. And you're like, we don't even think about it. Like they're gay in high school. We don't, it doesn't, it does not even like, we don't think about, no. Yeah. They're just other kids in school. Yeah. That would have never been the case really when I was growing up. Right. Right. I, I like how there are a lot of things that are just like not even issues anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that, and, and, um, representation and all that stuff, super important. And right. Mental health. But there's gotta be a blend a little bit. There just has that. to be. Yeah. I understand that. Blend. That's my, uh, personal opinion. I wish I had thought that out a little bit. Matt, how much of an asshole did I sound like when I said that? Oh, I was fine. Okay. Um, all right, buddy. That is fascinating to me. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. I love that, that, that quote where the, the flight crew said that he just kept switching seats, trying to talk to people and everybody ignored him. Nobody wanted to talk to him. Dude, he, I don't believe that. He's the most charming man in the world. I doubt it. Charming? You doubt it? Charming? You got to be charming and convincing to get past TSA, through security, past... Yo, dude, when you say to somebody on the plane, right? I left something on the plane. They say, what is it? Yeah. You're not allowed back on board. No, 100%. So how did he get... Back on board. Amazing. Yeah. Um. Okay. Dude. Hmm. Sorry, I was really thirsty, everybody. You can tell. Um, let's not, I'm like, let's get into your brother's wedding. Okay. Because we're getting up on the on time. Uh, uh, and by the way, um, I do want to say a shout out to Best Day Brewing. Hey guys, if you are looking for a good if you're looking for a good non-alcoholic beer, if you're looking for a non-alcoholic beer that tastes like beer, mm -hmm. if you are like me and you don't drink anymore and you miss the fucking... <sighs> I do. You miss the... <sighs> it sounds just like it. It doesn't. It sounds exactly like We've it. done this already. Tell me what you think it sounds like. Ooh. Not bad. That was way better, I think. Then, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like you're punching someone. That does? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that one sounds way better. Let me hear yours. That, I like that. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, that's. On <laughs> 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 another episode of Josh Wolf's Brain Breaking in uh, front of you. Um, best day brewing, guys. If you like a non alcohol. A non -alcohol non -alcohol, non -alcohol, non -alcohol. <laughs> Oh my God. He is his brain. This is the episode where, you know, we have one every now and then now where his brain kind of farts itself. Dude, it really felt like my tongue swelled up all of a sudden and then it went back down. Yeah, yeah. It just felt like you kind of just had a stroke. Oh, dude, yeah, that was a mini stroke right there. If you like non alcoholic beers, there you go. <laughs> non alcohol. By the way, when I look at my face when I say non alcoholic, non alcoholic, that's a weird word to. Non alcoholic. Well, well, yeah, but you're saying it a specific way, so you're making your, your mouth like that. All right, let me try it again. Non-alcoholic. Yeah, it still works. Wait, I don't know what's going on with my language right now. Non-alcoholic. If you like non-alcoholic beers... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Best Day Brewing is so good. It's so good. Jacob and I, uh, we enjoy it in the backyard. Neither one of us are real drinkers. We enjoy it in some green rooms as well. Yeah, we enjoy it in green rooms. Guys, it tastes just like beer. And if you're like me and you miss cracking something open, just a... It was worse. You combined them. You combined the bad one with the good one. Anyways, if you like it, I can't recommend it enough. It is also... Look, man. It's, it's got 
great ingredients. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not drinking something that's terrible for you. Yep. And it's delicious. Um, and so if you want to taste a beer without the alcohol, if you miss cracking something open, if you, um, if you want to enjoy a beer without actually drinking a beer, your know, best day is without a doubt. Guys, I swore off non-alcoholic beers because they just tasted like doo-doo stew. Yeah, they didn't taste good. Yeah, they really tasted like you poured a glass of water down a, a camel's ass crack. Mm. Right? This is not the case. This tastes like beer. Enjoy it. Best day brewing. Also, dude, the guy who owns the company, excuse me, Jim is such a good dude. Indeed. Indeed. Good, good dude. Small business, guys. Um, and so if you want to head out and support a small business, and he's not selling to any of the big guys, um, he's doing this, you know, grassrootsy. Uh, check it out. Best day brewing. Um, and let me just say this. All right, here we go. Let's finish it up. Yep. Do your thing. Trevor's wedding. Trevor's mm-hmm. my oldest son. Mm-hmm. The other so one. Tre- Trevor got married here in Vegas on the 23rd. Yep. Um, and his, his lovely bride, uh, Jesse. And man, I got to tell you, dude, I like the whole, there were so many great moments, but okay. A couple things. I could hear you scratching your beard. It's when you thick did right it now. It's thick. When Trevor was standing up at the altar and waiting for Jesse to come out. And I could see, I saw him and just watched, I watched him the whole night. Dude. I, my dad told me, he was like, you were smiling the whole night. And I'll tell you why I was smiling the whole night. Besides the fact that it was an amazing night. Mm-hmm. And she came out and he started to cry. Mm-hmm. It was such a beautiful moment for me, dude. You know, I, There was a period of his life. I remember I was talking to your mom and I was like, I'm kind of bummed out for Trev because I don't, I don't know if he's ever going to be happy. And I, he was in a situation, by the way, no fault of his or the other person or people who were in that situation, both great people, both now living happy lives. But at the time, I was bummed out, so bummed out to think that your child was never going to be happy. Mm -hmm. It was like soul crushing. And um, such a full circle moment to see him so happy. Yeah. In that particular moment when she walked out, it just hit him. It was so perfect. I was so, and am so happy for him. He, I mean, does he seem to you happier than? He definitely seems happier than he has ever been with, with anyone. A hundred percent. It's not just in for me, dude, honestly, it's not just with anyone. He's just happier. Yeah, I get that. He's happier. And I'm, I'm so intensely Grateful that that is the case. Yeah. Um, It's heartbreaking when you think your kid will never find happiness on this one ride on this rock. Right. You only get to do it one time. Yeah. It's it's important to be able to do it right the one time. You get it. Just to be happy, to find some joy. 100%. And so I, I, it was such a magical night for me. And then we went and gambled. And I think the only person who won money was your mom. Not me. Um, I lost 200 bucks in less than 10 minutes. Grandma, I know. <laughs> grandma and grandpa were there. Yep. Um, you like hanging out with grandma and grandpa? I love hanging out with grandma and grandpa. Uh, you know why? Because it, it, it may start early, but we'll all hang out. We'll have a nice early breakfast. Nap after breakfast. Love Fuck it. Fuck yeah. Wake up, watch some more TV, have a quick early lunch. Another nap after lunch. Love that shit. And then a nice early dinner and then get bedtime. Yeah, good. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yo, by the way, we played a, a board game the other day called Mind, 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 Mind the Gap. Mind the Gap, which, by the way, just the name, I thought was going to be a different game. Yeah, well, no, I, I told you the name was something different prior to that. Yeah, would you tell me it was? I didn't say Mind the Gap. I said Age Gap. Age Gap. Which is 
so wrong. Uh, but, but age gap, not the right. But mind name. the gap is something different. I bet you if you Googled mind the gap, something dirty would come up. So would age gap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yo, that mind the gap game, fun. So yeah. fun. Yeah, let me just say I was better than all of you. But you're you're gonna win it every time you play. Uh, with you all, yeah. for sure. It, but it's such a fun game, guys. You, it's just they asked four different generations worth of questions. Yeah. There's a boomer pile of cards. There's a Generation X piles of cards. There's a millennial pile of cards, and there's a Gen Z pile of cards. Mm -hmm. And so you go around the board and you ask different questions. But from that generation yeah. and that and that and their pop culture, their headlines. Mm -hmm. You know, that was a ton of fun, man. It was a bunch of fun. I really liked that game. Yeah. We'll have to play it again, though, and switch up the teams. Who would you switch it up with? Uh, you don't get to play. Um, I don't get to play? No, you answered every single question right. Not, but I'm, a lot of them. I didn't know a lot of them. You knew most of them. <laughs> Why did he? He kept doing that, too. He'd be like, all right, here's your question. <laughs> no, you know, whenever it was music. Bo Boomer, because Boomer was... From 46 to 64, 64 or something like that. And so, we got a question from 71. And that was bullshit. <laughs> but but um the whenever music, the music category would come up in the boom in boomer, I would like, all right, uh, boomer generation music. Ba -na 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 -na. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for him to like wiggle his That's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. That is I true. I like your my red velvet, my red hold on, I'm giving a whole standing. Look at you. Do a little walk. Do a little walk for me. Got the matching shoes on too. Do do a walk in place. Ooh, no, no. You know what's better? Walk down the stairs. Can you walk down the stairs? Oh, let me see. What do you mean with the knees? Knees aren't great. You, you're 26. Oh. How bad could your knees be? Did you hear that crack right when I took one step? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it again. I mean, I'm gonna watch on screen. Stay oh. sideways. Stay sideways. It's better if you stay sideways. I'm, I'm trying to wave. No, don't wave. Just stay sideways. Stay sideways. Stay sideways. Don't look. No, stay, stay, stay sideways. Stay sideways. Stay. Damn it, my mouth. Yeah. By the way, for you guys who are listening and not watching, that's hard. I want to try one. I want to try. One. Yeah, you. You definitely don't have the knees for this. Oh yeah. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> okay, hold on. It needs to be sideways, right? Yeah. Don't look. I want to. I need to look first. Yeah, I know you can't do it. Oh. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do it. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Yo, for you listening, you're. <laughs> well, everyone who's Yo, listening will one, go. I got one two, step in, dude. One and a half, and then you stumbled like your knee was about to give oh, out. Oh, it's about to give out for sure. But I don't it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got this. Uh, I got this tracksuit. This was one of my Christmas presents from uh, Iman. I have this one in red. I have the same exact one in like a winter green, and then I have the exact same one again in brown. Fuck yeah! Yeah, I'm pretty excited, and I have shoes that match all three of them directly. Dude, wait till you see my leather flare pants for New Year's Eve. What? Banana nana. <laughs> Did you slow mo banana banana? Me? What? Did you go banana? <laughs> banana nana. No, you didn't just do that. You went banana nana. nana. You're, like yeah, a, yeah. You're, like, you're like the oldest minion alive. <laughs> Are you Woo. kidding? You slow mo banana banana banana. <laughs> um, uh, listen, Josh Wolf's brain is banana banana. No, but dude, it's so <laughs> far past banana banana. <laughs> it's like I like it when you say it when you're not singing it. Like you just say it so nonchalantly. Dude, I'm it's gonna so start far, using it's, it. I like how you. It's so far past banana banana. I'm gonna start <laughs> using it. I'm gonna be like, look at that dude. Look at that banana banana. I'm gonna start using it. Banana, banana. I think you should say, like when you're on mushrooms. Had you been doing that to people, that would have been super funny. You just kept walking around going banana, banana. I'm and gonna. You... It's gonna come with a dance. I'm gonna start to go banana, 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 banana. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna get flagged on YouTube for that. Banana, banana. 
<laughs> I think we should. <laughs> hey, we're so, going to get that giant mozzarella stick tonight for Kate. Yeah, uh, I don't want to bash anybody's restaurant on here. But... Just tell me where it is so I know where to get it. Well, now you're going to bash it by giving its name because you just said it wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not going to give you the name of okay. it. Okay, well, you'll give it to me off the air. I'll give so it I, to you after. So you, does that mean you're not going with us? <laughs> Zero chance. <laughs> <laughs> How could fried cheese be bad? Is it the sauce? It's what the cheese is fried in. The, whatever the crust is on yeah. the outside is wrong. Oh, dude, banana, no. <laughs> um, are you... Uh, <laughs> Banana, na na. Hey, by the way, Vancouver, BC. Oh. The last week in January, I'm shooting my special. You know what I'm gonna do? Fucking fuck. You know, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do leading up to the special, to the release of it. Banana, na 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 na. I am going to release old sets. I have, dude. How many? Like full whole sets? How many shows have I? Filmed? Well, hold on. Pause. What I just said. I said full whole sets. Yeah. Like 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 you have like like full sets. How like, many years have I been filming my sets? Oh a exactly. At least a decade. So I'm gonna go back and start posting like old material? Old full hours. Whoa. You know? Some of them will have Are your glasses crooked or is it that just fucking me up? It's probably crooked. Because I'm not gonna lie, when your glasses are crooked, it looks like your eyes are on different levels. Oh yeah, yeah. It was crooked. It was on oh, oh yeah. Oh my. I'm um, looking at your eyes like, am I freaking out? Because you're like, still crooked? No, you're, you're, good, you're good. You're good. Um, Sorry to interrupt that. That's okay. It's freaking me out. But I'm going to release those full hours. Do it. There there was an hour I found today uh, that Bill sent me. Boo, and it boo, was three boo. stories. It was the tripping mushrooms at a music festival. Okay. I'm going to fight you so hard. Great. Bachelor party story. Interesting. It was a fucking fascinating set. I, it was just three 20 minute stories. Huh. I loved it. That's great. I, I loved That's it. Awesome. Like that. but, good, but I'm going to start stories too. I'm going to start releasing that. I'm finally going to release the special that I shot over quarantine in front of 20 socially distanced masked people. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you the, can I tell you the honest reason why? And this was, this is part of the changes in me. Can I tell you the honest reason why I have released it and taken it down probably three times? Because you're scared of what other people are going to think about it since it's only in front of 20 people? Because if you clip it and post it, it just sounds like I'm on stage and nobody's laughing. Yeah, that, I can see that. Right? So if somebody pulls a clip out of there or whatever, they're going to be like, why is nobody laughing at this? Not only that, I was maybe at my thinnest. I was like 143 pounds. Right. There's a lot of stuff. But you know what? Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. I, I, I... This is, that is who I was. This is who I am. That material, I worked, for those of you who don't know, that was a, an hour that I shot. I took the very first CD that I ever recorded. Fairly. Fairly normal. And I just went back and rewrote it. It was fucking so much fun to do. And so much fun to get into old material and see the difference of how I would write jokes now compared to then. And sometimes I wrote, I told the old joke and then the new joke. Yeah. So you could hear the difference. I, it was a good time, man. And, and, and so I'm going to release that one too. I'm going to release a bunch okay, leading up to the release of the new special. Okay. And I think the new special is a fucking straight up banger. Oh, it's going to be, it's a bang. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. a banger. So I'm super excited guys. I, for, uh, coming up 2024, um, this is the last podcast of this year. Yeah. Um, I did a high live last night, which was a ton of fun. I know. I scared you on it. Oh, that's right. I was there for it. Um, but that's it. And so much fun things. We have a lot of fun videos planned coming up. Yep. We're going to get Nate and David out here. Nice. Um, Tommy Riles is ready to rock and roll. Uh, we got the whole team up and running. Let's get it. All right. What do you want to say? Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Sorry, I got a little burp in there. Uh, what did it taste like? Tell me what it smells like. Oh, it just <laughs> hit me right when you said that. That was a warm wave of yuck, dude. Tastes like orange juice. It's not what it smelled like. <laughs> <laughs> Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour and tickets. Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Uh, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok. Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. Uh, I hope everybody had a very, very happy holidays. Whatever it is you're support or supporting, celebrating. Um, 
thank you guys for always tuning in and listening. Um, I hope you guys got some sick ass Christmas presents because I know I did. Um, tell somebody you love them today. Do something nice for somebody. We love you guys. What's the worst Christmas present you've ever gotten? Any underwear ever. Is it the worst? Yeah. Yeah. You giving me underwear for Halloween? I'm giving it back to you. Halloween. Or uh, Christmas? You giving me underwear for Christmas? I'm giving it back to you used. The very same night. That is rough sauce. Um, Worst Christmas present you ever got? uh, You know, we were poor growing up. I got pencils once. Um, Definitely worse than underwear. I want to say, for sure, by the way, as a Jew, you don't have to say happy holidays to me. I fully support you saying Merry Christmas to me. It, I don't know why people get offended by it. Um, it is really just a nice thing people are saying to you. Yeah, they're just trying to spread. Makes joy. zero sense. You can say happy holidays to me if you want to, but I will not be offended with Merry Christmas. I won't be offended with happy Kwanzaa. I saw- You're wishing good things to me. Yeah. That to me is a positive. Absolutely. So whatever, Mary, whatever you had, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. I hope it was Mary. Festivus. I hope it was Mary and joyful and you enjoyed it with those that you love. We will see you guys in the new year. No, we, we're going to see him in Phoenix. Well, I mean, like the next episode we'll be doing is in the new year. True. And please let us know what the podcast name is. And um, heymanpod at gmail.com. Send in some questions. Send in your name recommendations as well. We were going to be doing, we were, I think we were supposed to do that this week, actually, was a email. email week. Yep. But next week in the new year, our first one will be an email. Uh, an email. And pod. if I can figure out how to change the name, it might be changed by that time. And if not, we will be probably having to start a whole new podcast. A whole new podcast? Like you'll have to rename it and re upload it under a different name. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We're, There's got to be a way to change the name. Yeah, we'll end, it on a, we'll end this on a good note. We'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I we like love your you mustache. Guys. Thanks. I've really penciled it up. I know. It looks, I, good. it looks good. Yeah, dude, it looks sharp. See you later. Love you guys. Love you. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. You know me, I have an ADHD brain, I'm fidgety, that's just kind of the person I am. So I know if I'm on stage with no hat on, I'm going to be running my hand through my hair every 37 seconds. And that's going to get distracting. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think you should run it through that luscious hair, people are going to like that. Yeah, but I... I and then slow-mo it. But it's going to bug me knowing I'm doing it every 35 seconds. You should run your hand through your hair in slow motion, and then I'll, I'll have the DJ play. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey man. Hey man. So we, you are a Sasquatch guy. I'm a cryptid guy or a cryptoid guy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. The cryptids and cryptoids. I don't think the Sasquatch is technically, I don't know, technically a cryptid. You know what I'm talking about. Though. I don't like, know what a cryptid is. So a cryptid is like a skinwalker or a mothman or the chupacabra or legend. Mythical. Right. But they're called cryptids. Okay. So. For me, I'm a big crypto guy. You know why? Because why the fuck not? I'm in a shirt that says, let's summon demons. Um, and it's got pentagrams all over it. Yeah, and I'm also in a Winnie the Pooh uh, headband. Winnie the Pooh, 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 Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah.